A hundred years ago, the First World War started, which is, you know, the, probably one of the biggest crises of the century. And yet, coming out of that, I couldn't help but think there were the most amazing opportunities and developments came as a result of this crisis. And particularly, the sort of fundamental change within women's role in society, really almost overnight. When the war started, you had the organization of women police, you have the organization of women doctors and nurses very involved in the First World War, you've got the organization of Catholic feminists, the League of Women for Peace. There's all these really proactive, engaging organizations cropping up on the back of what's going on at the time, um, which are just phenomenally inspiring, I think. You know, we have so much progress, so much amazing um, moves forward, and yet I think there's still no room at all for complacency. You know, I was looking at figures um, to do with the last two general elections and women between the ages of 18 and 24, they just don't go out to vote. So, you know, 35% turnout, 39% the past two elections. There's a sort of a sense, it seems, that, you know, it's not for me. And that's, I think, quite dangerous really because if that section of society are not heard by politicians then politicians aren't very interested in promoting their rights and it becomes like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Being a women's representative at Mumford University I believe has encouraged me to get more women to vote, not just women, but everyone to vote. I don't believe that students at DeMontford University are apathetic. I believe they do want to make a change and they do want their voices to be heard. Therefore, they are requesting to have a polling station on campus. So in between lectures, they get the opportunity to vote and get their uh, voice heard. My message today would be, you know, there's an election coming up in the relatively near future. Anybody who's on the fence about voting or undecided, I would say, you know, get out there, use your vote, make the best of it, get your voice heard and become politically active, even if it's beyond voting, but just to sort of have your voice heard and have your message um, shared. Four years ago, politicians across the, across the country made promises to students and in the May general elections, we can hold them account if they do not keep their promises.